We are regenerating New Zealand native bush, as you can see on the right hand side, starting from a paddock, as you can see on the left hand side. With regards to the trees that have been planted over here in this project, we'll start off with Horoika, also known as Lancewood. We've got some Tarata, which is called, also known as Lemonwood. We've got Hohede, which is also known as Ribbonwood or Lacebark. There's Kaunuka and Manuka, of course, you got to have them both. When the plants are younger, it's a nice way to be able to compare ones. For example, uh, the left hand side here shows you Kaunuka and the right hand side shows you Manuka. And when they're so close together, it's quite easy to spot the differences between the two, especially with regards to the leaves in this case. With the Kaunuka being the kind one and the softer, gentler leaves, and the Manuka being the mean one with the more prickly leaves on the right hand side. And then there's a Karamu. as well as Kohuhu or Kohu Kohu, which is also known as Black Matipo. And this is a swamp sage, also known as Pukio, one of the Caraxes. And if you, don't, if you want to know, you won't even be able to see the difference between the uh, New Zealand native grass and all the grasses that surround it. Here is another plant in the ground cover category and it's a plant that is uh, quite well known for most of us I'd say. It's Harakeke or New Zealand Flax and um, as you can see it's relatively small at this stage. You know, give it a break, it's only been uh, alive for maybe two years or so. Not to be confused with the tea coca, which is growing right next to it. So that's your harakeke, your flax, and that's your tea coca, which is a cabbage tree, uh, which looks like a ground cover this stage, but grows to be quite a tall, handsome looking tree. Now that's quite a diverse list of species, um, mostly selected for the fact that they can act as a pioneer, so um, establish themselves in uh, rougher conditions, as opposed to some of the canopy species, for example, Kahikatea, Rimu, those ones, they need more forested conditions to be able to establish themselves properly. Um, but one major factor, of course, is also availability of plants. So the list is also, or mostly I'd say, predominantly based on availability from the local nurseries, and I guess that's also the limiting factor. So there's a few spots and a few plants, for example this karamu, and there's a few right behind it that uh, definitely are sticking out above uh, all of the other plants if with regards to height, um, but that's I would say not specific to the karamu because there's other spots where the karamu is uh, not as big. And that pattern of a few plants that are bigger than the other ones repeats itself throughout the, um, the project, but I can't seem to find um, a specific trend with regards to a plant species. It's more bound to location. So that's pretty much the overview of all the plants that you can see right over here. All of them uh, fall into that list because that's the first round of planting which was done in 2023. Uh, once we get the second round of plants into the ground, we'll also make a, uh, an overview video of those and I'll link to that here, over here. Uh, but for now, you're going to have to do with this video and uh, have a look at the playlist, which uh, is right, going to be on screen right here, to get an overview of the rest of the project. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time again.